you know, our, our government is pro-farmer and we have a focused approach towards not only protecting the farmer interest, but also providing them all kinds of support and benefit. The government is encouraging farmers by providing input subsidy, good quality seed and fertilizers and purchasing paddy from farmers at a viable price. Telangana farmers harvest three crops in many places harvest mainly two crops, in many places even three crops of paddy in a year. Telangana has now emerged as the rice ball of India, standing second in paddy production in the country and uh, paddy production in the state stands at a staggering 265 lakh metric tons a year, out of which 94 lakh metric tons is procured by the government at minimum support price. As both an irrigation minister and food and civil supplies minister, I can uh, assure the distinguished guests on the dais and the audience that year on year, I expect that the paddy production in Telangana will further increase because we are increasing our irrigation facilities and also hopefully we are going to better and better productive varieties. So the figures that I mentioned we will probably improve on them year on year. I also take pride in stating that Telangana state is producing the best varieties of paddy. We grow coarse, fine and super fine varieties. Of these super fine and fine varieties paddy like Telangana Sona, Jai Sriram, HMT, Sona Masuri and Samba Masuri have an excellent quality, great demand and fetch premium price in the market and have also have very good export quality. Our country as a whole believes in the concept of food security to ensure that the poorest of the poor at all times get access to the basic food for their active and healthy life. Right to food is treated as a fundamental right, as an extension of right to life, which is enshrined in our constitution, interpreted to include right to live with human dignity, which includes right to food and basic necessities. Our National Food Security Act envisages and mandates the state to provide sufficient nutritious food grain to all the needy and holders of food security card at minimal or zero cost. The government to ensure food security to the people is distributing the rice realized after milling of paddy purchased from farmers to the targeted beneficiaries through food safety net schemes. The government has also taken up fortification of rice with micronutrients to address hunger and other micronutrient deficiencies. And around 30 million beneficiaries in the state are receiving this fortified rice through various schemes every month free of cost. Telangana is a surplus paddy producing state meeting not only to the state's own requirement for our welfare schemes, but also meeting the requirements of other deficit states in the country. We are, very, we are also very proud of our milling industry. It is one of the major industries and the major employees in the state. The milling of paddy is taken up by the government in collaboration with milling industry. There are around 3,000 rice mills in the state and we have some ultra-modern rice mills. And uh, through this uh, conference, we'd also like to invite any better technology than that we already have. I hope that this platform would give a great opportunity to know about the latest technologies in milling and also to explore international market, which will boost our state's agrarian economy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sure that wide array of rice we have would be of great interest to all of you, especially the exporter community here. Some of our rice variants are unique in the world and we have varieties which can cater to varied needs of populace across the globe. And we would be glad to offer the same to all the exporters who have come to this uh, conference. Quality of Indian and especially Telangana rice has not been fully ex explored by the world community and we are committed to showcase the same. We are ambitious and confident of supplying the best rice in the world. I believe 
that the current economic scenario, global collaboration and exchange of technology as well as trade is highly needed more than ever. No one can deny that world is becoming a global village and it is high time that we join our hands together in ensuring food safety and food security and food sufficiency to all. Our government is open to any kind of cooperation, cooperation and collaboration in this regard. Before I uh, end, uh, you know, for the International Commodity Institute, the exporters, the rice traders, and all the distinguished guests in the dais and the members in the audience, uh, I wish to once again repeat, though both as a Minister for Irrigation and Minister for Food and Civil Supplies for the state, we are increasing our irrigation facilities year on year, and we hope to increase paddy productivity and go in for better variants year on year. So you will find that Telangana is one of the huge paddy surplus states in this country. Like the Mr. Jeremy said, Telangana produces more paddy than the country of Thailand. If you, this is what he said. So we are going to increase our production. We are going to better our, our variants. And I'm sure we can also give you at a very competitive price. I would like to use this uh, conference and this occasion and this platform that to invite all of you, uh, not just in this conference, but to have a discussion on the sidelines. I'm available for the next two days, whenever you'd like to meet. And our uh, principal secretary and commissioner, Mr. Diaz Chauhan, is also available. We have, as it is, huge stocks of both coarse and uh, fine uh, variants of paddy now. We also have both coarse and fine variants of rice and for export. And we can discuss uh, the price and other terms and conditions. And if there are any restrictions of the government of India, I can assure you that we will talk to government of India and uh, ensure that trade in rice should be possible because we have huge stocks. It's good for the country. It's good for the state. It's good for society. It's good for, for farmers. I once again express my sincere thanks to the organizers. Professor Aldas Janaya has taken a great uh, pains to organize this meet. And I'm, uh, I know him from many years as a, you know, somebody who's done a lot of work in agriculture and particularly paddy and rice. And he's been the forefront of organizing this. And uh, our uh, vice chairman of our planning board, Dr. Chinna Reddy, is a doctorate in agriculture from Malaysia. I'm sure he'll be able to contribute. And uh, our dynamic agriculture minister uh, is a vast experience in running the government and vast experience in uh, agriculture ministry. And he's also a, a great progressive farmer himself. So I think you have a, a very good combination of people to deal with. And uh, he's a practicing farmer. <laughs> he's a farmer I, as of now. Then I also wish to recommend that our Rice Miller Association uh, representatives, our president, Mr. Nagender, uh, general secretary, Mr. Mohan Reddy are here, and Mr. Thuri Devender Reddy, who's very knowledgeable in uh, rice trade and uh, rice milling issues. So we're all here. We would like to benefit the state's economy and the state's farmers. And we hope to use these two days in whatever way, how we are, you know, whenever you want us to be available, we are available. We are willing to discuss and uh, not just present, but all forms of uh, future cooperation. I also would uh, like to learn and uh, know more about better and more modern rice milling methods. And uh, we are willing to, you know, act as, a, as an in-between between our rice milling industry and uh, your International Commodity Institute, uh, you know, to progress the rice milling industry in our state more. Uh, I must say it's been a genuine pleasure and a privilege to be here. I, I treat it as a good fortune to spend this time among all of you. Thank you very much. For the next two days, we are available for anybody who wants to consult us on any of these issues. Thank you very much. And uh, you have to excuse me. I have another commitment in a very far off place. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to leave now. Thank you very much. <laughs>